Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how I make one of my favorite crappie jig colors, the Grumpy Minnow. The tools that we'll need today are our vise, a fine-tipped pair of scissors, a bobbin with thread, and I am using 210 denier flat wax nylon. And finally, we'll need our whip finishing tool. For supplies, we're going to need our Chanel, our flash accent, and finally our neck hackle feathers, uh, which we're actually going to be using two. We're going to be using a, a gray and we have a black one here. Uh, if all right, the first step is we're going to lay down a base layer of our uh, flax, flat wax nylon thread. So we'll, we'll go back to wrap that around all the way back to the point that the hook starts to curve. Right about there. And go back forward really quickly. Boom back one more time. And then we'll do a basic just loop knot. Just make a loop and slide that over the head of the jig. And that just helps to, to kind of secure it in place. The next step is to cut off that excess thread. Now we're ready for the feathers. Uh, again, if you haven't watched the, the, the preparing feather video, go ahead and check that out. Uh, I'll link it in the description. Uh, but we got our feathers layered up here. I try not to go much more than about a half an inch or so past the hook. So we'll do a couple basic wraps and then we'll check it out. Make sure it's laying how we want. Should be good. So now we're going to go ahead and tighten that down. I'm going to cut off extra the here. some wraps to get that secured on there all right now we're ready to add our flash so go ahead and grab one little strand of that flash and then we're gonna fold it over and we're going to put one piece of it on each side of the hook so kind of position that how you want once you get it on there wrap it around a couple times and then we can even adjust it a little bit if we need to but I like to have one on each side of the jig. That looks good. So we'll go ahead and tie that on. I'm going to cut off that excess again at the front here. And I wrap up to the front of the head. Alright, we're now ready for our Chanel. Uh, go ahead and grab the very end of it and place that at the bottom of the head and we're going to wrap that around a couple times. Alright, once we have that there, I, this is a, an extra step, you don't have to do it, but I am going to put some super glue here. I'm going to brush that on the very back side of this jig as I uh, lay down the, the Chanel. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the top of the hook here before we uh, put the Chanel on there. And now we're going to lay the Chanel flat on top. 
And we're gonna wrap our thread around until we get back to that, um, the point that we've kind of ended on at the back side here, right where the hook starts to curve. Once we get there, we're gonna wrap back up to the head. And now we're ready to go ahead and start wrapping our Chanel around. We're wrapping this pretty tightly as we go. Want to make sure it's layered on top of each other. All right. Now we're going to do a couple wraps at the front. Then we're going to cross over. Cross over our Chanel here. So we made that cross. We're going to wrap a couple more times. Cross over again, a couple more wraps, and we're ready to cut our, our Chanel off. All right, now we're ready to go ahead and uh, do our final wrap using our whip finishing tool. that tight and we'll cut off our excess. And then the final step is to trim our flash. I like to cut it uh, where it's just a little bit longer than our, our feathers. So maybe a sixteenth of an inch. And that's our completed jig.